the e.l.f. Baked Eyeshadow in Bark. I think this and one of the other things that I'm gonna talk about were part of a birthday gift? Not a birthday, I can't talk. Christmas, birthday, the birthday of Christ, not me. I can see why you might get confused. Welcome back and welcome to another installment in my Where Are They Now series where we revisit favorites videos from a couple of years ago. Today we're going to be talking about my favorites from January of 2016 to see if I still have those, if I still like them, or if I like something else instead. If you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you'll hit subscribe so we can see you here next time too. The very first thing I mentioned in my January 2016 video was the Jack Black Lip Balm. I still have and love that lip balm. Well, it's like a newer tube than that one, but I do still use it. I usually keep it next to my bed so that I can use it at night. It is the only expensive lip balm that I have ever bought. I will, I mean, it's like $7.50, $7, $8, something like that at Sephora which to me is expensive compared to like chapstick. I've tried a lot of other ones. I've just never bought the full size because I haven't liked them enough to make it worth it. What I like about this one is that first of all, it's not like a thousand dollars like some of them are. And second of all, it sinks down into my lips. So it doesn't have that kind of waxy finish that some sort of regular chapsticks do. So I feel like it really gets down in there. It's very moisturizing. Um, and it also has SPF. So I use it a lot when I'm gonna be outside for a while in the summer. It's the only lip balm with SPF that I found that's also super moisturizing. I feel like usually I get one or the other. So yes, I do still, still love that. I probably buy it once a year because you know, it is expensive. I don't use it constantly, but it is a favorite. The IT Cosmetics number 50 Serum Collagen Veil Anti-Aging Primer. I still have this one. I don't remember if this, I think this is the actual bottle I talked about in that video. I've had two of these, so, so I'm not sure. Um, this I have not used in quite a while and I'm getting ready to start a declutter series again soon and this is gonna go when I do that because it's old. I was, I was looking at it the other day when I started thinking about this video and it kind of smells weird now. I, I don't think it always smelled like crayons. If any of you guys, yeah, I, I don't remember smelling like crayons. Um, okay, so I really liked this. I had two of them because they were given to me. I, I did not purchase this. What I like about it is that it is super moisturizing and in the winter, which obviously this was a January video, in the winter when my skin is super dry, this really does help prep the skin nicely. What I don't like about it is the price tag. Never bought it full price. I did see that it's in Ulta's skincare promotion thing they're doing right now where there's gonna be a day you can get it half price, I think later this month. So if you're interested in it, I think it's worth picking up for that price. My problem with primers and with hydrating primers is that I always buy them because I have dry skin and I want something hydrating, but I feel like they don't make a difference in anything else. And I feel like I could just, you know, put on an extra layer of moisturizer. I mean, by the time I sit down to do my makeup, I have on like a some sort of hydrating toner, a moisturizer, an oil, an SPF, like I'm moisturized as much as I, as I can be. So I just, I haven't found a lot of use for this recently, obviously. I wouldn't buy it again. I don't know that I have something to recommend instead. Um, one of the things I wanna do this year is try some more drugstore primers because primers, I just usually use like little, like deluxe size samples and stuff because I tend to get like a lot of those from Sephora, but I wanna try some drugstore primers because I feel like they don't make enough of a difference for me to buy really expensive ones, but I do like using one just for some reason. So yes, if you have any drugstore hydrating primer recommendations, let me know in the comments. The e.l.f. Baked Eyeshadow in Bark. This was part of a Christmas gift from my sister the month before this favorites video went out. So Christmas of 2015, so is another product we're gonna talk about. And I really liked this single eyeshadow. I liked it all over the lid and kind of blended out into the crease for just like a super easy, fast look. I don't have it anymore and I don't remember when I got rid of it, probably during my declutter because I think after using it for a few months, I just forgot about it, kind of. I mean, I would see it, I keep my eyeshadows over here. I would see it, but I just like wouldn't reach for it enough. I don't know, usually if I'm gonna actually put on eyeshadow, I pull out a palette and do eyeshadow because I enjoy the process of it 
or I just pick like a matte eyeshadow if I'm gonna use one. This one had kind of like a sheen to it, um, but it's perfectly lovely. If you want something like that, I do recommend it. Something I have now that I think is comparable is from this Essence 3D eyeshadow duo that my friend Beth gave me in Irresistible Choco Cupcake. I feel like the darker shade is, is pretty similar to that one. Um, it kind of has that same finish to it. And then the nice thing about this is that you also get a lighter shade that you can use as well. I think those are really pretty. I'm gonna be honest, I don't use this either. I, I just, I don't know, I'm not very good at, at remembering to use those. Um, but if I wanted something like that, I'd probably just buy the Essence because you can get two instead. The other thing my sister gave me, and this was a huge hit, and I still love this, is my In the Balm of Your Hand palette, volume one from The Balm. So this is a compilation of some of their favorite products, like their most popular products, all from part of the permanent collection. I still use this a lot. This past summer, I was addicted to this, and it was all I wore every single day for like at least two months, um, especially these eyeshadows. I love what's this called, Mischievous Marissa. That one right there, really pretty all over the lid with a little bit of Mary Lou over the top. Um, today I used Bahama Mama. I'm gonna be honest, Bahama Mama is not a good bronzer for me. I use it as an eyeshadow when I'm using this palette for like a crease shade. I put it on today because I wanted to try it out again and it looks like dirt on my face. Like it's just too dark and too yellow for me. Um, so I blended it out a lot until it pretty much disappeared. I am wearing a little bit of Hot Mama though. I love this as well. These are beautiful products. And like I said, I've gotten a ton, a ton of use out of this. The blushes are super nice. It's great for traveling if you're someone who travels all the time. I don't, but it's like the thing on YouTube to talk about travel makeup constantly. Um, it does have these two cream products that I get absolutely no use out of. So in that favorites video, and a lot of times when I've talked about this, I've mentioned that I wanted to get the new one like the volume two that they recently came out with. And then when it came out, I didn't get it because first of all, the Bahama Mama and Mary Lou are the same. Mary Lou, I have in the full size too. So that one is already kind of like a wasted shadow for me. So you weren't getting that many other like new different things. I don't know, it just looked kind of boring to me. It no longer has the cream side and I think they dropped the price a little bit, which I approve of. I think that's a good decision, but I didn't buy it because it seemed a little bit repetitive. Um, it's the only palette I have, I think, that has cheek products and eye products like all together. So I don't have anything else to recommend. I do actually really like it and I occasionally see it pop up somewhere on sale. Um, so if you're interested in it, I, I do recommend checking it out. The Flower Beauty Lip Suede in Mauve Over. This was a gift from my friend Krista, I loved that lip product and wore it constantly. I no longer have it. I think I got rid of it in a declutter because the cap broke. It's like a pencil, you know, a, a what am I looking for? Words. It's like this, a lip chubby pencil thing. Um, the, the plastic lid cracked and so then it kept smushing down and smushing the lip product everywhere and it was kind of old. I eventually just had to get rid of it, but I did wear it a ton. I found it to be a really flattering, peachy, neutral shade. One reason I was okay getting rid of it is because it's pretty much an exact dupe for this MAC lipstick I have in Kinda Sexy. This is another thing my friend Beth sent me. I feel like I was talking about, oh yeah, she sent me those Essence eyeshadows. Anyway, um, this lip product right here, which I do wear a lot, it's pretty much the exact same thing, but a lot cheaper since it's Flower Beauty, which, side note, did you guys hear Flower Beauty is coming to Ulta? I am so excited because my Walmart does not have Flower Beauty, so that is, is very exciting. So no, I don't still use that because I don't have it, but I do really like it, and I now just use this one instead. And then finally, my beloved Blake's Red from the L'Oreal Collection Inclusive Reds. How many videos do you think I've talked about this actual lip product in? 20, 100, all of them. I feel like it's all of them. I am so obsessed with this lipstick. I talk about it all the time. I wear it all the time, so I'm sorry, but it is just the perfect, comfortable matte red lip lasts a million years, is the most beautiful color ever. In fact, one of you guys sent me a snap like a week ago saying that you finally bought it and I was so excited. Tracy, do you like it? Let me know what you think. 
Um, but it is just, it's perfection. Yes, I still use it. Yes, I would continue to purchase it and I will never, I will never replace it. So hopefully this video was not a million years long. I did one month this time instead of three like we were doing before to try, try to keep it a little bit more concise. If you want me to go back to the old format, just let me know. I will be doing a January favorites of this year in a couple weeks. So hopefully I will see you here for that one too. And I will see you guys soon. Bye. This is for sure my favorite thing that Blake Lively has, has ever done. I'm not sure that she really did it, but you know, that's, it's got her name on it. So there you go.